timing that. All right, hi everyone. Welcome to uh, this week's edition of um, Bruin with Bobby and Minka. Say hi, Minka. You want a treat? All right. There you go. Okay, so while we're waiting for people to join, a um, couple updates. Um, we just had somebody shatter the glass at our downtown LA cafe. So if I seem a little rushed today, it's because I got to get through this so I can run down there and deal with uh, broken windows. Um, nothing like having uh, your already closed cafe uh, break into pieces. So it's been a fun morning. Um, that notwithstanding, we're going to do something fun today. We're going to do um, eggs and coffee, two things you probably never thought would, uh, would, work, would go together well. And um, well, we'll see how it goes today. We got, I know we advertised two different recipes. We're gonna do three recipes today because uh, as I was Googling around this morning, um, I found a third very interesting recipe that's very California. So we're gonna, we're gonna kind of travel the world here and go from um, Vietnamese to um, Swedish egg coffee to like a paleo coffee, all of them involving eggs. Um, hey, chill, dude. Um, with me, as always, is the mighty Minka, and she is as bossy as ever. A um, few quick updates on our end of things. Um, we, uh, our Santa Monica shop's still open, and a lot of our wholesale partners are still open, so go and um, visit them. Uh, help us out in this time of need. A lot of people aren't getting government help, um, so go to Found, go to Confidential, Cafe Aficionado in Northridge, Yang's Kitchen, Constellation Coffee, Reverent Coffee, um, Go to these cafes, buy a bag of coffee from them, go to their websites, support support your local coffee roasters, support your local coffee shops. Um, in this time right now, everyone is uh, everyone's hurting in the coffee industry, I can tell you that. Um, from the farmers all the way to the importers to the cafes. So, um, okay, let's jump right into it. Um, we're going to start with Swedish egg coffee. So, Swedish egg coffee, um, I tried this yesterday, we'll see how it goes. So you're going to start by boiling about 400 grams of water um, and while that's going to get boiled we're going to get the mixture ready um, and, and uh, our quick uh, quick disclaimer if you will um, we're, we're working with a lot of raw egg here and as always you should know uh, anytime you're dealing with raw eggs you can get sick so please um, use fresh eggs and, and don't call me if you get sick I'm not going to call you if I get sick so uh, while the water is boiling we're going to take um, a whole egg, shells included, and we're going to break it into 20 grams of coffee. Bear with me. I've seen this recipe without shells, so use your judgment here. And then we're going to add a quarter cup of, of water. Let me go get some water and toss it in here. So we got our water, we got our eggs, and we got our coffee. And you're just gonna mix this up and make a weird egg, eggshell coffee mix until it's all sort of as homogenized as you can get it. Hi, you don't want any of this, I promise you. I know you love eggs, she loves eggs. Um, so we're gonna, and like I said, you can do this without the shells, but I, I, you know, as I was going through recipes, I was like, you know what? Let's just go all the way, let's do it. Let's do it the, the right way here. Um, so mix the eggs, the shells, the, all of it into one big sort of mucky muck. Um, and we're going to be drinking that soon, guys. Get excited. Um, hi, I see you. You don't want any eggs, I'm promising you. Um, so while we're waiting for the water to boil, uh, one thing to know is the reason why they put eggs in this is because it's supposed to help clarify the coffee as um, the egg kind of acts as a congealant, so it brings everything together. And you'll see it when we do this, it's sort of just all the coffee and the shells attached to the eggs and then um, it just uh, turns into this like big clump um, which is kind of gross and kind of disgusting and then you end up drinking it so um, but the point is to help clarify the coffee and give you like a really light clean coffee um, so yeah water's about boiling here we're gonna um, add this mix to that and let, we're gonna let it brew brew for about three or four minutes um, and while that's brewing, we're going to start our next egg coffee. You 
want to take it down to a simmer. Okay, so three minutes, it's a timer. And anywhere from three to five minutes, you're good to go there. Okay, the next coffee is going to be Vietnamese coffee. This one, shout out to our social media director, Lisa. This was uh, all you, and you've been waiting for me to do this for a while, and I almost didn't do this. Um, got a question here, do the egg types matter? Not that I know of, I think use, um, use your regular eggs. I mean, you want to use organic pasteurized eggs, I suppose, in an ideal world, but work with what you have. Um, you know, but if you can do this like an ostrich egg, bonus points to you. So, two egg yolks, um, and we need sugar. We're going to toss in one tablespoon of sugar. Drop of vanilla. Hi, all right, all right, all right. Nobody forgot about you. Okay, and you're just gonna beat this to death with um, whatever you got and until you're gonna see peaks forming. That's what you wanna do. You wanna get this to the right it's, um, Almost like a meringue consistency. You guys having fun watching me do this? This has got to be so boring. So the Vietnamese coffee is um, quite sweet and very, very tasty and this gives it a nice creamy top. Nice. You don't want any of this either, I promise. All right, so you, you, we're getting the peaks forming here. Uh, probably needs a little bit more here. I'm gonna keep going. All right, so that's the consistency we want. It's very thick, almost like a foam. Um, just kind of set as a shout out back to our foam from last week. Um, all right, we're gonna toss this away. We've hit our three minute mark on this. All right, so I don't know if you can see this massive disgustingness, um, but um, it's just this clumpy, nasty uh, mess of shell and egg foam, and it's almost like egg white. So. Suppose so once you once it's off boil for three minutes or once you've let it simmer for three minutes And sorry, we're jumping back and forth because timing on all these things matters, right? We're gonna pour it into a French press and then we're gonna add some cold water to this. I'm gonna do it in the, in the sink here And what you'll see is like the clump at the bottom is just left behind. So you don't get all of it out in one go. Um, there's still quite a bit of goop left. And so to get rid of the leftover goop, we're gonna add some cold water to the mix. And this is to help it all settle down and we're just gonna let it sit for another two minutes and hopefully this will work. But if not, we'll, we will press the rest of it out. Okay, so back to the Vietnamese coffee. So you see we have a nice thick uh, almost meringue-like foam. We're going to add anywhere from one to three tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. I actually have to make my own sweetened condensed milk. Um, so if you want the recipe for that, just email me. I'm going to add two tablespoons of this. You want to do it real gently so you don't break up the meringue quality of this. Uh, but if you like it sweeter, use three. If you don't like it as sweet, use two. And then we're gonna make an extra strong cup of coffee. So I got my AeroPress espresso set up here. 
Um, this should be familiar to anyone who's watched any of these videos. I put about 30 grams of coffee in there this time. And we're gonna hit it with about 60 grams of water, maybe 70 even. All right, I see you. Okay, two minute brew. And then we're just gonna stir this and we'll press it out in a second. All right, I see you, I see you. And if you guys have any other questions, fire away. Um, well, we just wait for things to brew and settle and sift. You want another treat? Okay. Treat, all right. Um, got a question here, does the coffee need to be stronger? Yes, so for for the Vietnamese coffee, they, they use almost like um, these little, they have a device which is almost like a syrupy coffee. So it's super strong. Um, the darker the coffee, the better just to offset the sweetness that you're gonna get out of the, the um, egg mixture. Uh, I don't have a dark roasted coffee, so I went with an extra strong brew of AeroPress, which I think it will give me the strongest coffee I can make at home, and I cut the water down in half to give it almost like an espresso-like quality. Um, so we're at about a minute here. I'm gonna press this out. And say hi, I see you, my little love. All right, so I'm gonna put this in a fancy glass for you guys. All right, so we're gonna pour this out into a fancy glass. And then you want to just spoon, I got a question here, send me the recipes, I will definitely send you those. The recipes will be on our blog and on YouTube in a minute. Um, and I got a question, pass the coffee through the phone. I wish I could pass the coffee through the phone. Um, so we're just gonna spoon this on top of the coffee. And this kind of is similar to what we did last, uh, last time with the foams, which is, um, we did that egg foam, right? And if I had not been so impatient, I would have beaten these a little bit more. They would have been a little bit more, a um, little so more solid and a little bit denser. But there you have it. And then add a touch of cinnamon on top. Come on. I know, I see you. Hey, you gotta work for the treats. And there you go. We're gonna have um, a bit of a. Uh, uh, you see the layers here. So that's the uh, that's the move here. So it's almost like a custard on top of your coffee. This is delicious. Um, this is another one of those drinks that I love to make because you have the thickness of a cold, thick foam on top of, uh, and a sweet, thick, cold foam on top of like hot, uh, bitter, strong coffee. So you get this interesting play on texture and flavor and temperature, which I think is all, always um, always a, a nice move when you're coming up with like a cool signature drink. Okay, we're gonna check back in on our Swedish coffee. So as you can see, almost all of it settled at the bottom, but not quite all of it. Um, so I'm just gonna put the filter on top just so that I don't drink eggshell. And so the whole point of this is to give you a really clear cup of coffee. And as you can see, it's a very light, almost watery brew. Um, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't good. Um, it's a very clean cup of coffee, I guess. Um, you don't really taste the egg. Uh, maybe you get some aromatics of like um, a bit of an e eggy vibe, but um, I don't know why anyone would do this, to be honest. Um, you have paper filters. My understanding is that this is a Swedish, um, when Swedish immigrants came over, they used this instead of a normal filter. Um, but, you know, it's also called like Lutheran basement coffee. So it's basically like fancy cowboy coffee. Yeah, it smells like chicken soup, I'm not gonna lie. This is not good. I don't recommend this. Um, but, you know, it's out there. Now you can try it at home and, and uh, if you can find a better way to make this, definitely let me know, but I am, I don't see the point, frankly. Okay, so bonus points, because we were only supposed to do two, but we're gonna do three. 
Um, this is paleo coffee, uh, which I, I didn't know was a thing, but apparently it is. So we're going to take two egg yolks. We are going to, um, we're going to need to brew some more coffee. Um, but we're going to take two egg yolks. We're going to add some, a tablespoon of coconut oil. You can use butter. I've seen this recipe with butter. I've seen it with uh, any sort of aromatic that you want to make. There we go. So, getting our AeroPress set up, um, we got our butter, we got our coffee, we're going to put some spices in here, but I'm going to start the AeroPress real fast, I forgot my coffee. Sorry everyone, I'm a little out of sorts this morning. Um, here we go, 20 grams. I, I see you little monster. All right, and we're gonna get it some water. So I use about 250 grams of water to 20 grams of coffee for this, um, but it kind of depends on the coffee you want to use. And I'm gonna let just that brew for about two minutes, and then we're gonna flip it. I'm getting uh, paleo coffee. Yeah, I didn't know paleo coffee was a thing either. Uh, so to this mix, we're gonna add um, some vanilla. Cinnamon, uh, cardamom rather. I love cardamom and everything coffee related. Cinnamon. Nutmeg. Hi, Jules. Treat. All right. And I already got the vanilla. Vanilla, cinnamon, cardamom, two egg yolks. We're going to press this coffee out a little earlier than I normally would because I'm very impatient. Hi. I know, you're such a bully. I apologize for all the boring downtime during this, uh, during this Instagram live session, beating things and, and blending things and pressing things. Um, all right, so we got that. And you're just gonna add this into your mix. And you can use any kind of coffee that you wanna use. Um, And that's it. Oh, and sugar. Add a splash of sugar. That was the, uh, the magic ingredient. And again, use as much sugar. I've seen the paleo version of this with like honey. Um, dog helps with boredom. Yeah, she helps me with boredom all day, I'll tell you that. And then we're just gonna cap this and blend it. Um, I have never made this, so this is a first for me, and this is the first time I'm gonna taste this. So I will, you guys can watch me either gag or um, or maybe it's really good, we'll find out. All right, here we go. That's my finger, you little monster. Okay, so we got this blended. Um, it's nice and frothy, which is kind of cool. And I'm just gonna pour that right into a mug. And so this little, the whole paleo thing is like you get all your nutrients um, and, and you know you get your eggs and your butter and your coffee all in a drink. It's better than I thought it would be. It's actually um, it's kind of tasty. You get a lot of the spices. The egg gives it a thickness, a rich creaminess. So it's almost like a milkshake. Um, yeah, I mean if you're looking for a dairy alternative, I guess you can just put some egg yolks in there. Does that? I don't think eggs count as dairy. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I'm not an expert. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad.
Um, you might want to use more spice than I did. Um, I, I feel like uh, it could use a whole lot more cinnamon for my taste, but yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe more, a little bit more vanilla too, if you want some flavors there. Um, no, this actually does taste good, I'm telling you. Um, so there you have it. Eggs in coffee, three different ways. I bet you never thought that you would ever think to put eggs in your coffee, but two of those ways, it was actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. The, the Swedes have coffee roasting down to a science, but um, ugh, Swedish coffee with the eggshells, not my, not my cup of tea, if you will. So thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. I hope this was um, fun. Uh, yeah, honestly, the Vietnamese coffee was pretty good, but I guess if you add condensed milk to anything, uh, it'll be pretty tasty. And this paleo coffee was surprisingly good. Um, so uh, I recommend all of that. And... Um, I think that's it. I have to go deal with a broken window now, so um, that's going to be fun today. I uh, hope your days are better than mine. And um, next week we have two very, very awesome collaborations. One is with uh, one of our favorite chefs, Liesl. Hi, Liesl. She's going to do something uh, cooking with our coffee, and then we're going to make um, a, co a coffee cocktail to pair with her food. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And then we have a um, a collaboration with um, Milk Labs Oatmeal, and we're gonna do a couple different oatmeal lattes. So both of those will be super unique, super different, and something we haven't done on this show. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun. And then, um, man, then we're then we're into May, and there is a chance that the uh, the stay-at-home orders will be lifted, and you won't have to see my ugly face on Instagram Live and again. Uh, you'll get to see it in the cafes. Uh, fingers crossed, um, and I hope everyone's safe and healthy. And I hope this was fun, and I will see you guys all on next Tuesday. Cheers, everybody, and thanks for watching.